Harting is well known for its worldwide standard, Han Industrial. In fact, Harting is one of the leaders in industrial connection technology for data, signal and power. Harting also produces vending machines and cash desks. But today, today we will see how Harting manages to modernize and push further the performance of the classic connectors such as DIN 41612, metric connectors and Ethernet connectors. And as a treat, a few words about the newest T1 Industrial, a single pair Ethernet connector. Make sure to check other great videos on our channel. Open architecture is a key feature when it comes to competition and innovation. However, before components and interfaces could work together, you need a standard. For rack-based electrical systems, circuit boards and back panels, the answer was and still is the DIN 41612. It stands for Deutsches Institut for Normung, the most important national standards organization in Germany. DIN 41612 became very popular and was adopted by other organizations like IEC and EN. However, it is still mostly recognizable as DIN 41612. The connector comes in one, two or three rows and can reach up to 96 contacts. The DIN power connectors have a 5.08 mm pitch. They are a great choice for applications that require robustness and high currents up to 15 amperes per contact. They come in all DIN construction types, have low contact resistance, and with the full metal version, you can ensure continuous shield from the cable to the rack. The DIN signal is the regular connector that we have already mentioned. It's mainly used in rack-based systems and back panels. The most common ones have two or three rows with 16 or 32 contacts per row, 2.54 mm pitch and can withstand up to 2 amperes. The connector has multiple connection options such as PCB to PCB, mezzanine to PCB or cable to PCB. The question is if it can withstand applications with harsh conditions like train control models. Yes, it can. Harting developed a unique full metal housing made of die-cast zinc that is compatible with F and MH types. This connector provides you with EMC protection, racked housing and easy assembly. But it can do more than that. It can also get smaller and have additional contacts for future expansion. To accommodate the needs of the industry for miniaturization, Harting designed and developed the 3Q3R. It is robust as the full package, but only a third of its size. It is designed for through-hole reflow soldering and perpendicular or alongside connections of two circuit boards. It comes with 20 or 30 contacts and is available with or without a fastening clip. Just as the classic connector, it has a 2.54 mm pitch. Each contact can take up to 2 amperes and it is compatible with 3B, 3C, 3Q and 3R types. More about Harting solutions for miniaturization later, but right now let us see what you can do to prepare your system for future expansion. In an open architecture, it is always a good idea to have some additional contacts and Harbus 64 is the solution for the standard. The Harbus 64 gives you the option to extend the system by two or more rows and reach up to 160 contacts without any headaches or the need to rework your daughter cards. It is designed for VME bus applications and is fully compatible with DIN 41612 Type-C. The Harbus connectors also feature live insertion and improved signal-to-ground configurations, with which it can get up to 320 megabits per second for VME bus or 3.125 gigabits per second for serial. Those two solutions are of course unique, but not as unique and flexible as they can get. As an engineer, you might have faced a situation where most of your stock connectivity solutions just do not fit your project, where data, signal and power are supposed to go from one PCB to another. What you need is a solution that is flexible and modular, a solution where you dictate your needs. You, the developer, adapt the connector to your requirements and not the other way around. With the new heart in Harmodula, you have more than a billion combinations. Every solution can be realized from bath one and gives the developers an utterly new perspective for fast and cost-effective prototype development in three simple steps. Make sure to check TME's website for Harting DIN connectors and if you have any questions so far, pause the video and comment below. Or leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Have you noticed that most of the connectors around us are rectangular? Even in our daily life, only a few of them are round, like RCA or the audio jack. So, if you are into round connectors, then you might be disappointed as most of them have already disappeared. Most of them, but not all of them. In most cases, the advantages are in favor of the rectangular connectors, even in areas where circular connectors were once unchallenged. 
Briefly, rectangular connectors give the user more flexibility as they are modular and combine multiple different signals. For more information, you can check our video about Harting's heavy-duty connectors. And also, there's greater cabling flexibility and bigger cable diameters as compared to the one that is circular and doesn't deal well with wide diameters or has a side entry. If I had to sum it up in one word, it would be savings. So the question is, what application require round connectors? Military, for example. And as I do not have any military around me right now, I will tell you a story. In the 1930s, the US Department of Defense developed a round connector specifically for harsh conditions, such as high and low temperatures, dust and water resistance. For a small number of contacts, believe it or not, the circular connector is smaller than the rectangular one. Today's square connectors can also survive in those harsh conditions, and for those applications you usually need more than 8 contacts. But here is an application where square connectors won't ever work, even in hundreds of years, and this is food and beverage industry. Well, the round connector is chosen because it allows easy washdown and doesn't have crevices in which food can get stuck. Other applications can be automation or industrial sensors that require separate connection points and each contact performs a single low power function. Today, it is mostly done with M8, M12 and M23 connectors that use different coding to carry power or data. The M8 and the M12 decoded are ideal for fast industrial Ethernet and Profinet applications up to 100 megabits per second and have a robust design to suit IP65 or 67 environments. Both use Harting's 360-degree shield that provides excellent EMC protection and are PoE-enabled. For higher transfer rates, up to 10 gigabits per second, you can use the M12 X-coded. If you need to save some space and follow the miniaturization trend, then the M8 decoded is a better solution as it is 30% smaller. Another way to save space is to use M12 magnetic. It combines the regular M12 and transformer needed for Ethernet applications. This results in direct space savings up to 30%. It also simplifies the PCB design, gives you the best signal integrity and power transmissions using PoE+. Alright, but PoE gives you up to 25 watts. It is good for cameras or maybe alarms, but it's not good for power demanding devices. Wait a second, man, darf nicht abfell mit Birnen und Vergleichen, right? If you need power, use M12 power connectors such as M12 L-coded. Not only it is smaller than the 7 8 of an inch, it can also deliver 750 watts. It complies with the new M12 power standards and is ideal for field distribution boxes and small servo motors. Usually, the connector of choice for those electrical drives is the M23, not the M12. And similar to the square connectors, Harting's M23 cables assembly can carry the three industrial lifelines. Data, signal and power. The Han M23 signal connector has a high contact density with up to 90 contacts and does not require special tools for assembly. Also, you need fewer cables and components thanks to the one cable solution. The max rated specifications are 300 volts and 20 amperes and the hoods and the housings are suitable for environments that require IP67 or even IP69K. For signal, data and higher power applications, Harting has the Han M23 Power Hybrid. It is rated for 630 volts, 28 amperes, and can transmit data up to 100 megabits per second. And do not forget, it has got good shock and root telfastic kite. However, there is another mechanism that can reduce the assembly and installation time. You push to lock or pull to pop. You do not need additional tools. The connection is confirmed with a click and the installation time is reduced by 75%. On the TME website, you will find more of Harting's circular connectors. And other solutions that will take off the stress and allow you to concentrate on real issues like managing your supply chain or training and caring about your workers. If you managed to follow us so far, you can observe a trend in which the connectors are getting smaller and smaller and yet demand more and more. Another trend is the adaptation of Ethernet in industry and automation a protocol that was originally designed for offices and ICT systems, quickly reached its limits in industrial applications. The combination of both trends and Harding's experience led to the development of many solutions, starting with RJ Industrial, the multi-award-winning IX Industrial, up to the recent single-pair Ethernet T1 Industrial. It began in 2003. Harting released its RJ Industrial, a connector with shielded housing, robust metal body and effective protection for locking mechanisms. Since then, a few other solutions were born. Those support all transmission speeds. 
power over Ethernet and additional certification for industrial and industry-related applications. Throughout the following years, Harting released two more solutions, the Dual Boot and the Vario Boot. The first is ideal for industrial cabling in control cabinets. It has two-part construction with overmolding and band protectors, as well as 360-degree shielding for transmissions up to 10 gigabits per second, 500 megahertz. The other solution is the Vario Boot. With it, you can control the direction of the cable and match your installation, an ideal solution for cable management and limited spaces. We were talking a lot about the miniaturization of connectors, but one can ask himself, why RJ45 for Ethernet? Why it cannot be smaller? Look at the changes of USB, for example. Some manufacturers of tablets or laptops omit this large connector to make their devices paper thin. Well, you know what they say, if you don't see something, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There are smaller Ethernet connectors. Harting's iX Industrial is 70% smaller than the standard RJ45 socket and yet it is more rugged and offers Category 6A performance for 1 or 10 gigabits per second. On the sides you have two snapping metal hooks that secure the connection. It is resistant to shock and vibration and designed for at least 5000 mating cycles. This RJ45 Mini can be assembled with the iX Industrial mating face on both sides or mixed. But there is more. The year 2020 marks for Harting two significant milestones. One is the company's anniversary. Harting became 75. Congratulations. The other one is the new standard for Ethernet communication in industrial environments. The megatrends of ICT such as IoT, Industry 4.0, Cloud Computing and Smart Technologies demand high availability, short access times, real-time transfer and at the same time, cost and efficiency. This means that devices, cables and connectors have to become smaller and stronger on a few levels. The selection process of one industrial connectivity solution that would fit all application needs had a few stages. In the end, Harting's T1 Industrial was chosen. The twister allows a bi-directional transfer of 1 gigabit per second using a balanced twisted pair up to 40 meters with a bandwidth of 600 megahertz or 10 gigabits per second for 15 meters. At the same time, it provides power to the end devices such as sensors or cameras and easily replaces the field bus systems. Moreover, Harting will support not only the technology, but the whole infrastructure in association with a strong partner network. It is time to call it a day. We've managed to cover a lot of information, but if you are still hungry for more, just ask. And feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.